we have the demand function or the price function in the form of the capital DX here equals 115 divided by 3x plus 1. Your goal is to find the marginal revenue when x equals 3. After you read the problem carefully, your goal is to find the marginal revenue. Revenue is the R, the capital R. Marginal means the derivative. When or when you're going to substitute the x with the value 3. So that's what you are looking for. OK, so now we know the plan. And to complete the plan, starting with what is the revenue function? We call the revenue or the Rx is the product of the items and the price per item or the demand function. So then to form the function R or the revenue, we're going to multiply x to the function 115 over 3x plus 1, or write it as 115 times x divided by 3x plus 1. Okay, we got the material to find the derivative now. Next, we're going to find the marginal revenue. which is the R prime. Since R prime is in the quotient form, we put the note to ourselves again. So let the top be the high function, the bottom as the low function, high over low. So then the template for the quotient rule, low D high minus high D low, draw the line, low squared. Okay, on my prep, notes here on the side, since my high is 115x or the numerator, my low or the denominator is 3x plus 1. My d high is the derivative of 115x, which is 115. My d low or the derivative of the low is 3. I get all four pieces that I need for the quotient rule formula. Now I'm going to bring it back into the formula or the main part of the problem. So my marginal revenue is going to be, um, I'm going to replace the term. The low is the quantity 3x plus 1. The d high is 115. The high is 115x. The d low is 3. And all divided by low squared, low is the quantity 3x plus 1, power 2. Okay, we got our pieces into its placeholder. And next, we're going to simplify, which is one of the important steps to get the work done. And again, this problem, you can go ahead, multiply 115 to the 3x plus 1, and multiply 3 to the 115x. Um, <clears throat> or you can see this as the common factor 115, 115, okay? That's what I prefer to do. When I see the common number, I take it out of the whole thing. If I take it out from the first group, the first group will be just 3x plus 1, where the second group, if I take 115 out, I still have x and 3 that multiply to each other with the sign negative in the front. So it's going to be minus 3x and all divided by the quantity 3x plus 1 squared. And this is similar to the questions that Chris asked earlier. I do not recommend you to expand the power 2 of 3x plus 1. Leave it the way it is. And you will see why it is convenient to leave it this way when we have the number to plug in. So we are still at the simplifying step, OK? We can see 3x and 3x can be reduced. Now we just have the top as 115 divided by the quantity 3x plus 1 squared for the marginal revenue for any x. Okay. The, the general part is done. 
The problem asks you to find the marginal revenue when x equals three. That's what we have to finish off for the problem. So we're gonna find the marginal like when x equals three. So the R prime at three equals 115 divided by three times three plus one squared. Three times three, that's nine. Nine plus one, that's 10. Or we get 115 divided by 10 squared or 115 divided by 100. And the answer is just 1.15. Okay, 1.15. So this is the marginal revenue when x equals three. And how do we interpret this? The revenue will be increased by $1.15. So in this case, it doesn't say that thousand or hundred dollars. When you sell the next item or this, you sell the third, the fourth item, sorry. So, so the revenue of selling the fourth item is 1.15 and units supposed to be dollars. So that's what it means. 